Hello there beautifuls and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about how to do a pelvic floor contraction. So I know a lot of you have been asking about how we do this so I thought I would go through with you pop in some inserts for you to help you really grasp how to activate that pelvic floor. So what we want to start with is the squeeze. So what we want is a squeeze of the urethra, the vagina and the anus at the same time. Now if you can't get all three of those squeezes, if you just focus on the anus squeeze, so if you imagine someone's trying to a finger up your butt, you want that squeeze, that's what we're looking for and you'll generally feel when you do that squeeze, you'll feel the vagina and the urethra squeeze as well. Then is the lift. So as we squeeze, we want to draw up towards our belly button. So like plucking a tissue or another analogy that I like to use is the jellyfish. So the jellyfish whoops up and then it relaxes back down. So we squeeze and lift and relax back down. Now we also, there's a third part, we add our breath. So as we squeeze, lift, we breathe out, exhale, on the inhale, relaxing back down. Now the relax is just as important as the contraction. So we want to squeeze and then really focus on it relaxing. The other thing we want to remember is that we're not squeezing anything. So we're not squeezing the legs or the buttocks or the tummy. Everything is relaxed. We're just squeeze and lift. Inhale, relax it all back down. Now another analogy that I have heard used is picking up a blueberry with your vagina. So try visualizing that right now. Picking up a blueberry with the vagina. Making sure that we want to feel all three of those squeezes because that's the activation across the whole pelvic floor. So I'm going to pop in a video here for you to see of doing the pelvic floor contraction, the correct position to be in. It is best to do laying down with your knees up um, and give it a try. So there are two types that I want you to do. So the first one is strength. So we're contracting, holding, and relax. Contract, hold, and relax. The second type is called endurance. So I want you to contract, hold, and I want you to count to 10. So I want you to see how long you can feel that contraction before you feel like you're starting to lose it and starting to build on that. So your pelvic floor contractions, I want you to do three sets of 10 of strength, relaxing in between, give yourself a minute or two rest. It is like training any other muscle group. So we need to relax and reset those muscles in between. And then we're gonna go back and do it again. So three sets of strength, and then I want you to do one set of endurance. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any videos. We're gonna have lots and lots of more of these videos coming out because I want to help you all to heal your core and pelvic floor. Till next time, girls.